I remember very early on asking my mom, how do you know when you are in love? And she said in the simplest way, you will know when you have that undeniable urge to see them all the time. They are the first person you wanna call when something good or even bad happens. And Mitch, you are that for me. Sometimes I wonder if I'm dreaming oh, or maybe oh, caught up in a dream. Don't even recognize the feeling that I got when we were walking in the rain. As I look back over the years, I can't help but think about holding those little hands as I walked her to and from school. I always knew someday I'd have to relinquish that grip over to someone else. I also knew this would be very difficult for me, but Mitchell, your calmness, kindness, love for our daughter has made this an easy transition. Hannah and Mitchell ended up meeting at a bar here in downtown Milwaukee called Uncle Bucks. One day, Hannah called me to tell me she met a tall, good-looking, kind-hearted man that she could see herself marrying. I don't know whatever happened to that guy, but I wish him the best. <laughs> Mitchell, I can say that you have shown me that you resemble my dad through your actions with the amount of love you show my sister. You make her the happiest I've ever seen her, and I truly thank you for that. When you know, you know. And Hannah, it goes without saying, from day one, he has just been crazy about you. Oh, oh, so Hannah, although there is another man who has captured your heart, remember you will always have a key to mine. I love you. You looked at me, looking at you, and there was nothing we could do to stop the moment from sweeping us. We'll make a memory. I think I won everything you got. You threw your line and I was caught. I'm never ever gonna give you up. gathered here today to witness and celebrate the union of Hannah and Mitchell in marriage. In this beautiful setting and in the city where they had their first date, we come together not only to mark the start of their relationship as husband and wife, but also to recognize the special journey and commitment they are embarking together. Anna, people say they love each other so much that they can't find the words to explain it. But when I think of you, my mind is flooded with about a million of them. You had my heart from the day we met. It was this overpowering sense of wanting to see you, talk to you, and be by you all the time. And any day we spent apart just did not feel right. From the first time I told you I loved you, you've shown me why I felt those butterflies that day. You are my favorite person to wake up to and come home to every day. And on the day spent apart, all I can think about is seeing you again. You are my home. Whether it's your style, your eyes, or your smile, I've loved it all since the day we've met, and you will always light up every room you walk into. Mitchell, thank you from the bottom of my heart for letting me live out my romance novel, a story with many sequels to come. I love you. Do you, Mitchell, take Hannah in the presence of God and our family and friends as witnesses to be your wife, your partner in life, and your one true love? I do. So please, oh, he does, okay. I'm ready, sorry. By the power vested in me, with Bo's permission, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Mitchell, you may kiss your bride.
Hannah and Mitchell met off a dating app called Hinge. Lucky for them, because it has not worked out for me. <laughs> I can't think of a better way to start this speech than to say that I am very single, and Katie, you look stunning tonight. <laughs> Mitch had asked Shelly if he could bring a date, and of course we said yes. Mitch was smart that way also, because he knew if he brought a date and had a nice dinner, it wouldn't cost him anything because dad always picked up the tab. <laughs> Remember telling Shell, I hope we see Hannah again. And if we don't, Mitch will be paying for his next date's dinner on his own. <laughs> Mitchy, I have known you for 16 years and I couldn't be more proud of the accomplishments that you've done in your career, but nothing comes close to today. As they continue to grow as a couple and the time we spent around them, we realized Mitchell was truly the one for Hannah. I can only speak for myself, but as an overly protective father of daughters, I knew it would take someone special I trusted to take over those duties and I couldn't ask for a better man than Mitchell. I look forward to the memories that the two of you and Bo continue to make. <laughs> to Hannah and Mitchell, I raise a toast to a lifetime of love, happiness, and adventure. Cheers.